Hey everybody, this is the Icarus Illumina XL. It's an eight inch e-reader. It features a capacitive touchscreen with a resolution of 1024 by 768. It uses e-ink Pearl HD and underneath the hood is a one gigahertz processor and 512 MB of RAM. There's eight gigs of internal storage, but you can enhance that up via the SD card. This is the main UI. You have your library, apps, settings, and web browser. Because Icarus is a Netherlands-based company, they have a lot of books preloaded on here in different languages. You can see that we've jumped through three submenus to really kind of get here. So it's quite different from the Barnes & Noble Nooks or Kindles of the world. Reading is done via page turns. And with an eight inch e-reader, it fits a lot of text on the screen. There's several options up top, light, search, and drop down menus for additional settings, bookmarks, annotate. You also have the ability to long press things. Once you do, you have copy, annotate, digest, and dictionary. Clicking on annotate will give you the ability to bring up the keyboard and start typing away. Keyboard's nicely spaced and with the gigantic screen, you have a lot of room to not make mistakes. You can easily adjust the font size and you can see dynamic in real time. There's also a number of fonts, six pages of fonts, and you can easily install your own. This is the default e-reading app. This is the menu where all your alternative apps are found. So G-Reader for your RSS needs, as well as preloaded with the Kindle and Kobo app in case you do business with those companies, as well as this has an app store and it's our own Goody Reader app store, but it's an e-ink optimized version. So it has plenty of comic reading apps, e-reader apps, magazine and newspapers, and even audiobook apps because this does have a 3.5 millimeter. You also have a fully functioning web browser which allows you to browse any website that you would on your cell phone, laptop, tablet, and what have you. Everything loads super quick. Text and pictures load very quickly for the size of screen and because it's an e-reader. Also, if you click on the bar down here, you get a very Android-esque drop-down menu, or I guess drop-up, seeing that it's on the bottom. Battery level, connection, and a secondary menu to show brightness, and any notifications for if you're logged into WeChat or any other application you might be logged into, as well as a shortcut to go to the settings. This is basically where you're gonna spend a little bit of time to configure different Wi-Fi hotspots. Google account management, look at all the apps that you've downloaded. So you can see here's some here. It's a very open Android, so you get a lot of these back entryways. Right. So you can see it's running Android 4.2.2, all the different informations here. So once you initially set this up, you probably won't spend a lot of time here, but we wanted to show you some of the settings menu. Let's take a look at the front light. But with the glow light at full 100% level, you can see that there's actually not too much wrong with the light distribution. You get a little bit of intensity up top, a little bit of intensity at the bottom, but overall it's actually pretty well distributed. About 75%, about 50. This is where you start seeing where the LEDs are. And it starts to get really dark and unreadable when it's too dark. So find that level that works for you. From there you can open up a book and see how reading in the dark would actually look for you. So the words pop, and it's way better than reading on an LCD screen where the screen is refreshing 30 to 120 times a second. Or investing in a third party reading light or keeping the lamp on. Exactly. So in closing, Michael, what do you think of this? Well, there's not too many eight inch e-readers on the market. So this puts it in a very limited category in terms of the number of products available for people to buy. Icarus has been in the e-reader business long enough that it's starting to get a good reputation for 
the hardcore e-reading audience that is looking for something beyond the standard six inches. I think that what I really like about this is just being able to install your own e-reading apps, not being locked into any one particular ecosystem. Although sometimes there's some drawbacks such as the default e-reading app. There's a lot of PDFs that come pre-installed. They don't really let you enhance right. the fonts and things like that. But if you have your own ebook collection or if you already do business with say the Amazons or the Kobos of the world, you can immediately start reading with this and go with more than one ecosystem. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, the design, pretty simple, pretty elegant. Page turns are really fast. There's no page turn buttons or anything like that, which I think helps ensure that this is more lightweight than yep. a stat like with a bigger e-reader on the market. What I really like though most all most of all is the headphone jack. Yes. So you can actually plug in speakers and get listening to music or with headphones or something like that. So you can listen to music while you read. You can listen to audiobooks with Audible or any other popular audiobook out there. So I'm a big fan of this. So hope you enjoyed this review video drop a comment below let us know what you think about the icarus and lumina xl and if you have any ideas for future videos drop us a line for giddy reader and a review of the icarus and lumina xl my name is michael this is peter everybody take care